64 pieces, six strings, one country, one guitar. Its name is Voyager, and it's made a special stop here at Laura Secord Secondary School. The builder of this guitar is a remarkable luthier named George Rosani. Uh, he's based out of uh, Pinehurst, Nova Scotia. Uh, and although he's not the most famous uh, uh, luthier in Canada, we kind of punch above our weight as luthiers in this country. We have a lot of very fine guitar makers. But I think the thing that made him very, very special was that he was not afraid to uh, take the 64 pieces of junk that I gave him, you know, historical junk, uh, that would have might have intimidated some other makers who would say, well, I don't want to, you know, I only work with these materials, this is why my guitars are so fine. And quite fearlessly, uh, George uh, took on the challenge of working with some very difficult material uh, and to create something beautiful and playable and, and just tremendously special. What are some of the 64 pieces that make this guitar so unique and so Canadian? You know, if you wanted to go the the hockey and prime minister's route, I mean, Pierre Trudeau's canoe paddle and, and Paul Henderson's stick from 72, but also things like Joe LeBobe's oyster shucking knife uh, and Karen Kane's tutu. I think the danger in asking the question what makes it so Canadian is that what people immediately put in their mind is, oh, what are those emblematic, you know, things? And it's like, well, we have to get better at having a conversation that includes more people in what that definition is. Now, Dave, what does it mean to you to have Joey Taylor and Voyager visit Laura Secord Secondary School? It's a great honor because he's married sort of the idea of a cool idea becoming reality. But not just that, he's got history, he's got culture, and he's got music and everyone asking questions about, you know, what, what is quintessentially Canadian and, of course, you know, what all the pieces coming together is, is kind of a, a great picture for the students and myself to, to experience. Now who are the students that get to play this guitar? We had two students from Laura Secord, uh, Olivia who writes her own music and uh, so she sang a song, uh, her own composition, and then we have Dexter who wanted to feature the guitar a little bit more so he was uh, doing a little bit more guitar only stuff to show it off a little bit. Well, Dexter, you rocked it out on stage. You had all of your classmates singing along. What does it mean to you to play this iconic guitar? Well, it's it's such a special thing for sure. I mean, being able to to, to play what, what I've always done, what I've always known, which is playing music, playing guitar, being able to do that with such a special instrument. I mean, the things that that guitar represents are, you know, everything I love about Canada. You know, it's togetherness, it's, it, it's inclusive um, attitude, and everything about Canada, you know. It's a, a piece of history that you get to make something out of, which is something very rare, uh, you know, and, and I feel very honored to be able to have been a part of that. Olivia, you were great on stage. I loved your original piece. Did most of your classmates know you could sing and play that, that way? Um, I think my close friends knew, but not many of my classmates know. What does it mean to you to play this iconic guitar? It was actually really amazing because I didn't understand how important this guitar was until today's presentation. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be playing that guitar. How did it feel playing Voyager? It was great. I was nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, don't drop it. It's an important <laughs> guitar. To forget the one you love. I got to say, that, I mean, I, I've been here doing some other schools and they've all been great. It's been a fantastic week. Uh, but this visit to Laura Secor today was unbelievable. Like, this was a, a high watermark for school presentations. It's a great facility that they have here. Uh, but the uh, sort of impromptu uh, pinball wizard at the end with a choir singing, it was just like, <laughs> it was fantastic. And the fact that Olivia um, Madera sang her own song. If you want to see this iconic guitar or have it visit your community, visit sixstringnation.com. In St. Catharines, I'm Norgene Howard reporting for The Source.